Hi Aries, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. This is going to be your love story reading for the next three weeks. Okay, so in that sense, it is timeless. It's going to be of significance to you whenever you come across it. But it is a general reading, so take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. Please do not force the messages to apply to your situation. Done with my usual <laughs> disclaimers. Okay. Uh, there's something happening here. Too many cards actually fell for you. Let's see if they come up again. Okay. I can get together. That one. At the bottom of the deck, we have patience. <laughs> Something's coming in which requires patience. I feel I'm also hearing. Needing the patience to deal with someone. So I don't know who that is for. Some of you who are probably in a relationship. Need patience to deal with the circumstances. Especially if you are like in a long distance relationship or something. Then that makes perfect sense, right? of cards let's see <laughs> good breathe uh, definitely needing to be patient and focusing on the breath not being in a hurry Aries we've got passion celebration truth truth be told chaos and conflict third chakra archangel shamir Woman holding a heart. We've got chop wood. Blessed and second chakra archangel Ariel. Now that's a very fiery passionate card as well because it, it is connected to your sacral chakra. And there are some blessings coming in which I was feeling okay. But it's going to be a bit unexpected. Uh, for those of you who are single, I feel like you're going to meet someone exciting, new, okay? Uh, and it's going to be a bit unexpected, like when you're just going about your usual, you know, humdrum daily life, that's when this is going to happen, I feel. It's going to be unexpected. Um, for those of you who are with somebody or you've recently maybe even walked out of something or you're thinking about it, I feel like that is showing up here. Um, as you're coming in... Uh, there are two things that I'm feeling here. One is that you might have sort of entered into a relationship uh, because you're very attracted to someone who is probably full of life and someone who sparks your joy and things like that. You know, you have a lot of fun with. It's, uh, it's a light-hearted sort of energy. More sexual and more fun flirty that is what i'm getting but i feel like you've had to face the truth about this connection about the longevity of it about whether this is something that you can you know uh rely on for the long term or you can see this grow into something that is more stable or not that is the truth that you've had to face in the recent past uh, or you might be, might have, it might have struck you, you know, might have occupied your mind. Now, in the present circumstances, you have two angel numbers here, by the way, <laughs> 44, 33. 
something very significant here is changing i feel um don't like look at the conflict part of it but i feel like this is your internal uh dilemma in a way where you're wondering whether this is something that is suited to you or not something that you should continue with or not all of these um things are going on in your mind i feel aries okay even though i feel that you do there is affection here you do like this person especially because um there's a lot of like light hearted joyous energy in a child kind of fun energy uh, attached to it is what i'm getting and in fact it's running through your entire reading right you've got uh, passion here you've got passion here this is the second chakra this is the third chakra so a lot of <laughs> focus on passion 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 here <laughs> let's see what is this truth be told about cut the star so you could have been dealing with an aquarius or a cancer a chariot two major arcana cards ace of wands yeah more fire more passion <laughs> and the empress there's a lot of sexual energy here passion driven energy a lot of attraction this person could be even popular and successful is what i'm getting for some of you and you've got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck uh so you've got like three major arcana here the empress which is more of a taurus or libra energy you've got cancer you've got aquarius sorry why is the truth be told can't hear what is the truth okay to king of swords which is again connected to the truths okay being honest with yourself the three of pentacles i feel like that is what is coming through trying to be honest with yourself whether this is something that uh, is whether this person is someone worth collaborating with you know in a like a <laughs> Uh, a tangible way or this is just fun flirty passionate vibe you know go with the flow we'll take each day as it comes and uh, no strings attached kind of energy i get a feeling that somewhere along the ride somewhere along the fun and um flirting and passion and all that somewhere along that path you started to or this uh, truth within you started to grab your attention about what should i do should i how long is this going to go on you know um is this going to lead somewhere or not so that's the kind of question or is this someone that i can like build something with you know something solid with or not what is this chaos and conflict about got the page or oh, princess of pentacles uh <laughs> another conflict card the five of wands what is this conflict about Okay, the five of pentacles. And the princess of cups. You've got two pages here, okay? 
which is again telling me that this has something and six of wands here yeah. this has something to do with your inner child or even children in some of in some cases i feel but at the very uh, least this has something to do with the fact that this relationship is at its nascent stage it's not reached a place where there's enough to you know it's like trying to hold on to sand or trying to build a castle out of sand so eventually it's going to get washed away right um i'm not trying to laugh at your situation i'm sorry it's just that the the two other messages that are coming through one is um of course the longevity of it the other is somehow i feel like uh this something to do with words here okay both of these cards actually have a connection to your sense of self worth determination confidence for some of you aries i want you to think about whether you're in this connection because you feel like you don't deserve any better or that this is all you deserve or this is all you're going to get or yeah that that doesn't feel good if that is the case then i feel it's it's that is the conflict that is coming up for you that is your internal conflict manifesting perhaps even in your relationship where you may be having like some arguments with this person something is changing you got two fives here okay aries and i also feel that the, the other message that was coming through is that some of you could have like a fear of abandonment and that's the reason why you're continuing to stay in this and it's almost like you're pretending that you know this is all great <laughs> it's all wonderful but the foundation of it is is not strong i'm sorry i have to put it that way but uh, it's because some of you fear that you won't that you'll be alone or you'll there is that fear of a ma- abandonment that is coming through for some of you okay and i have been in that situation it does not feel good sometimes just the f- the um fear of being alone or fear of being on our own can make us um go for decisions and choices in a very unthoughtful way where you make the wrong choices basically because it's it's rooted in fear it's not rooted in love so let's let's get on <laughs> that is what i feel the conflict is about okay what is this chop food and blessed kind of art so yeah a lot of hard work is coming through here got the three of wands the world i like seeing this here and i'll tell you why the sacral chakra and bliss energy what is that about blessing ooh eight of cups 10 of swords seven of wands some of you could even be a bit stubborn and de- defending your choices okay aries if it's not helping you i don't know why you would want to defend your choice but anyway um they're giving you the promise of something new but you'll have to turn your back on to whatever this is for that to happen 
for those of you who are single it's just that you may be still carrying on this baggage from the past which needs to be released which needs to be healed okay and that story that chapter needs to completely end uh whatever you've walked away from it needs to be released from your system in order to bring something new because there's a whole world out there waiting for you aries it's also about putting yourself out there in the world okay in the sense that um this could be of course online dating it could be even some of you could like meet someone new who is at a distance from you uh like a physical distance and uh you might be like there's a sense of longing also coming through you might be longing to meet this person in in physical in physicality but it's just that the circumstances are not allowing that obviously so um you're trying to um overcome these challenges and obstacles but there is definitely you've got two tens here this is not a joke and the world something needs to be released something that you've walked away from or you are still in the process of probably walking away from okay you've got a separation here walking away here listen to your intuition aries so what is this three of wands about what's on the other side what's happening for aries <laughs> you've got the magician it is the start of something new okay could be dealing with a uh, gemini yes queen of swords could definitely be an earth um, air sign okay gemini libra aquarius but there is this uh feeling this energy of starting over a new cycle a new chapter wow the two of cups aries that is what is waiting on the other side it's going to require a fair deal of patience and releasing these burdens cutting off ties from the past okay being prepared to create something new being confident that you're going to meet the right person You've got the king of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck so it could be an earth sign as well it is a whole world out there waiting for you to discover it to discover love provided you release whatever this conflict and chaos is okay let's see what do they want to say to you so why does this keep coming up commitment is a scary thing it seems to me that this person is someone who's just flirting with you and there's more of like a physical connection but you're hanging on to it because you probably fear abandonment yeah i was just saying this initially let's take things one day at a time ouch this hurts like crazy okay i value our connection more than i can express and i'm not sure i feel the way i used to about you okay this person that you're dealing with even though they have i feel uh feelings for you or yeah there is the sense of attachment but um i don't think they are the commitment sorts so and at the bottom of this we have i wish you the best it's time to move on so that i feel is your energy aries okay
Receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. This is just asking you to be open to receiving Aries. Are you... I feel like the universe wants to bring something new, something beautiful in here for you. Provided you're open to that. And you might think that you're open. Yeah, okay, I'm open. Um, why is this not coming to me? But uh, we don't realize that we do have blockages to what needs to come through in our lives sometimes. And that in our conflict also blocks our energy. It blocks the abundance that wants to come in, the love that wants to come in. Oh, okay. The union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. Wow. This is one of the most passionate, beautiful cards in this deck. And you've got consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So this I feel completely sums up the reading. Um, well, it is all about the foundation. Whether this is something that is worthy of hanging on to or not because there is a beautiful new connection waiting for you on the other side Aries it's just that it's important for you to let go of what is already occupying your heart your space your mind and that is going to um, unblock you okay it's going to help you create something or make room for something new and manifest your desires. So that is what I have for you Aries. I'm wishing you all the very best for the month ahead and for this beautiful connection. Do take care of yourselves and uh, do hit the like button if you enjoy the reading and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I'll see you again later. God bless. Bye-bye.